Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello, everybody. This is Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries. Thank you for joining me. We are continuing to read the Bible live every single day. Just want to come on here live just to let you know that and encourage you that as believers, we have a responsibility to be consistent at being in the Word on a regular basis. Uh, we do things on a regular basis. On, uh, we read the paper, the newspaper to find the news. A lot of people drink their coffee on a regular basis. A lot of people go to work on a regular basis. A lot of people do a lot of things. Well, spending time with our Creator in prayer, praise, repenting, and reading His Word is essential. And uh, I want to encourage people to read the Word on a regular basis daily. Uh, on a regular basis daily. And uh, we're going to be reading Psalms 26 now. And I just pick Psalms, and then we're going to go to Proverbs, and who knows what next. But whatever book is on your heart, read it daily. Read the Word daily, folks, and, and pray about it and, and get in the Word. The closer you know the you know our Creator, the more the closer you're going to be with Him. So Psalms 126, the author is anonymous, uh, but... Uh, it says here, possibly written to celebrate exiles returned from captivity in Ezra, for in Ezra one. So the theme here is about Yahweh uh, does great things. His power is not only references us from sin or, or release us from sins, captivity hold, but brings us back to Him. And we're going to look at it here in a Hebraic version. And uh, so Psalms one twenty six uh, says. A song of a sense. When Yahweh turned back the captivity of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was full of laughter and our tongue with joyful shouting. Then they said among the nations, Yahweh will work great things with these. So, so Yahweh's word is not just limited towards, towards the, uh, the, the, the people of the chosen people. Every person back then and now in the world has an opportunity to hear and know about him and, and to come to him and, and take part of the joy and, and, and instead of a part of the terror that comes with not knowing him. So verse three says, Yahweh did great things to work with us. We are glad for turn again our captivity, O Yahweh, like south streams. And ver verse five says, those who sow in tears shall, shall reap with joyful shouting. And for me personally, one of the most touching scriptures in the whole Bible that helped me through my, my, my darkest times or some of my dark times was Psalms 35. And that's what this uh, reminds me of here in, uh, in Psalms 126.5. Those who sow in tears shall reap with joyful shouting. And if we turn to Psalms, uh, Psalms 30 verse 5, it says, For his anger is only for a moment. But long life is his favor. Weeping may endure in the evening, but joy comes in the morning. So nice. So nice. So again, in verse 5, those who sow in tears shall reap with the joyful shouting. Weeping at night, she is, joy is in the morning. And then verse 6 says, surely he walks and weeps, bearing a trail of seed, shall come, or well, he who walks and weeps, Bearing a trail of seed shall come again with joyful shouting, uh, bear, bearing his sheaves. And and if we turn here to Galatians uh, six nine, uh, which is it references this in, in Galatians six nine, and I was just there a moment ago. Hold on. And I pray everyone's having a, a, a blessed a blessed time reading these psalms. Uh, so uh, Galatians 6, 9, as we read, says, And let us not be weary uh, now that we are working for good, for in the season of reaping we will not faint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that was Psalms 126. Yes, it was a short one. Uh, the next couple of Psalms are short ones. Uh, and we got a couple of long ones left. But uh, remember, folks, the Psalms are songs. Songs. Praise songs, even in its in, in its in its sadness in some of these psalms. They're praise songs to our wonderful creator. The best worship songs out there. And if you go on the internet and you type 126 psalm song, well, uh, you, you'll see uh, a whole bunch of musicians trying to make some music. We don't know the exact musical notes of these psalms, but we do know they were sang and, and they were prayers that were sang from the heart. 
So there you go, folks. That was it. Uh, so please share this on Facebook and share this on YouTube or wherever else you see it. If you're watching this live or even recorded, remember to share it. Comments and questions below the video. Thank you very much for watching. Until then, everybody, have a great day and shalom, shalom. Out of the world, all my people seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah Life Ministries. Come Hello, everybody. This is Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries. Thank you for joining me on the show today. Torah Life Ministries is the name of the ministry.